guys, welcome back to another face mask review. So today we're doing the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar Clay Mask and Scrub. And while I do have the full size of this, what we're actually going to use is this little sample size one uh, because it's older. Like I just got this not that long ago. I've had this sitting around for like a year. So I'm going to use this guy. They're the same product. They're the same product. Same brand, same product. This is just like a single use sachet, but I did want to show the full size as well because I do technically have it. There's no difference between these two things other than the packaging and how much is in them. So I'm pretty sure they even say the same shit on the back. I stand corrected. Well, it mostly does. This has an extra line on it, so we'll read this one. This multitasking foaming clay mask cleans, scrubs, tones, and absorbs oil so unruly oh, no, so unruly skin behaves better than ever. Kaolin and bentonite clays clear out oils and debris from deep within pores. Pumice exfoliates to clear away dead skin cells while apple cider vinegar tones for yeah, tones for a radiant flawless finish. Perfect for all skin types. Directions to use as a daily cleanser and scrub. Massage gently onto damp skin. Rinse well. To use it as a mask and toner, apply to face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes. Leave on for 3 to 5 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. I'll go for 10. Uh, rinse with warm water. Discontinue use if irritation or redness occurs. So, normally I would have applied a toner before applying the mask, but because it says to use as a mask and toner, I'm guessing I don't need that one extra step I usually do. So, all right, I guess we're just going right in. Okay. Whoop, it's very pink. Whoa, it's like Pepto-Bismol color. What the frick? Damn it, I thought I had it like down lower in the thing than that. Let's get you on there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dang it. And of course, being the genius that I am, did I bring anything over here to wipe my hands on? Nah, no, of course not. That'd be too easy. That would make sense. God forbid. Let's just start with that. And then we'll squeeze out like an actual real life amount. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's start going. I don't want it to all glop out at once, so I'm trying to work slowly. I also got like a major league paper cut trying to get this out of the box it was in. So that freaking sucked. Paper cuts are like the devil, guys. I hate them. They're evil. Like, can we all just like agree that paper cuts are the worst thing in the world? I think we can. Definitely not the color I would- oh shit, my hair got- I just washed my hair, it's still wet even. Really? I suck. Um, but this is not anywhere near a color I would have assumed this stuff to be. So I'm kind of amused right now, I'm like, oh, Pepto color. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going. I definitely feel the abrasiveness. I'll go back to the nose and the spots I missed, but I'm trying to get the forehead for- Oh! 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 Crap! Well, we lost the headband. Oh, we're going rogue now, guys. We're gonna have to hope and fr That just got in my eye. I'm pretty sure one of the things was do not get in the eyes, and I just got it in my eye. And this is why I wear the freaking headband, guys. Oh my god, that was terrible. Wow. Because it's not just vinegar that's in there, but there's like fucking pumice stone in there. It's gritty, I feel it. I'm gonna do like a really good flush on my eyes after this, but I have to wait till after. All is said and done before I can do it. Let's keep that hair back. Thank you. Um, let's 
actually try to get that back on. I'm gonna wipe out that table, but it's better than wiping out my eyeballs. So, okay, we're gonna just redo that. Try to, okay, hopefully it stays put this time. And this is why I still need to wash that one elastic one so we don't have these problems where it comes off part way through because the Velcro sucks. I swear if it comes off again I'm gonna cry. Although, if I cried, it would probably flush out the stuff that's in that eye, so maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. Just saying. You know, at this point I'm like, screw it. We're <laughs> trying to keep it out of the hair. Apparently that shit's not gonna happen. So, oh, who even cares anymore? Let's get the under chin. If I run out of this stuff before I get my whole face, we'll use a tube. It don't matter, we got more. easy be nonchalant with one of these when I know I've got more <laughs> but when I only have like one little thing you see like how chintzy I go with like every drop of it huge difference oh my god that one piece of hair is just sucking it's still hanging out over there screw you hair screw you hopefully I won't go blind Getting that in my eyeball. I think what is under the eye? Probably shouldn't go any closer than that, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, we've got about everything covered that's gonna be covered, so let me set the timer, even though I realize parts of my face, yeah, they said no longer than 10, well, it's gonna be longer than 10 for parts of it, so I'll be back. So, a quick update, like, time's up, I gotta go wash it off, it mostly still looks the same, there's a couple spots where it faded a little, but most of it looks exactly the same, maybe I did it too thick, I don't know, it's got that very tight clay feel that's all clay masks have when they dry. Uh, so I'm gonna go wash this off. Hopefully I can try to rinse that one eye a bit once all of it's off and I'll report back after how my skin's feeling. So um, it's the next day because I'm a dumbass who right after I washed uh, off the mask it was time for dinner and I totally meant to come back up here and film the last part of this review and then got sidetracked as usual and before I knew it, I went to bed. So, um, we're doing this now. <laughs> so, for the sake of just, you know, keeping things looking more or less samey samey across the video, I'm still wearing the same, uh, sweater. But it is the next day, <laughs> full disclosure. So, okay, washing off that mask was a fucking experience. Um, the clay part came off like any other clay mask. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a clay one, so I forgot my usual, um, use a paper towel instead of a washcloth, because you'll wipe out your freaking washcloth. Granted, it was a pink washcloth, and it was a pink clay mask, so it wasn't the worst it could have stained, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a while till I get all of that out, if I can get all of that out. So that's cool. But that was not the hard part. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. The clay part comes off your skin easy. It's that pumice stone they mentioned that's in there that, oh my god, I was there for like half an hour rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and rinsing trying to get all of this off of my face and neck. For some reason, it was like heavier on this side, even though I feel like I had more of the mask on this side when I was looking at it after the fact. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys, but it took forever to get all of that off of my skin. 
Like, every time I touch it, I kept feeling more. I was like, seriously, right now, how is there that much? It didn't feel this gritty while I was putting it on. How is there that much? <laughs> By the way, my eye is fine, in case anybody was concerned. It's fine. I got the little bit out. But <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, just getting it off my skin was a process. So for how big of a pain in the butt that that was... <laughs> I'm probably gonna dock one point off the score of this just for that. But that was really about my only complaint with this one. Because it did a really good job at everything it claimed it was going to do. And a surprise perk that I wasn't even expecting, but it just worked out really well that way. I don't know if it was the clay in it, or the apple cider vinegar in it, or a combo of the two. But because having to wear a cloth face mask to work every day, um, I've had a little bib mask knee right here for like a week that I could feel under the skin, but had not come to a head, and it's been painful and annoying. I noticed as soon as I washed off that face mask, oh, look at that, right at the surface. I know you're not supposed to pop them, but son of a bitch, I popped that little fucker and oh my god, it feels so much better now. Just saying, I know you're not supposed to, but I did it suck it. It's my skin, so <laughs> I'm the one who has to deal with any scarring, not you. So it was that painful to where I was like, I don't care, just get it out of my face. So regardless, apparently whatever's in there is really good at bringing imperfections in your skin to the surface. So just saying for my acne prone gals or guys out there, this is a very good one for you. Now I don't know about using this as a scrub, because uh, I didn't use it for that intention, but for all that effing pumice in there, I could definitely see where it could definitely work as that too for you. Do I necessarily think I'd want to use this for exclusively that purpose? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Not sure how I feel there. I feel like I've got other scrubs I could use instead to where I don't need to waste a nice clay mask on doing that. But in a pinch, sure, I suppose it would totally work for that. But my skin does feel nice and soft and exfoliated and everything. Even next day, it's still got a nice glow to it. No complaints. It feels really good. It smelled lovely like apples the whole time I was using it. It doesn't smell vinegary at all, just in case anybody's wondering. Unlike apple cider vinegar, where you, it definitely does have that smell, because I know when my swear... My psoriasis on my scalp acts up really bad. It's time to break out the apple cider vinegar in a squirt bottle and bring it in the shower with me. And then I smell like a freaking salad dressing for days afterwards, no matter how much I rinse. But, <laughs> but regardless, this thankfully does not have that smell. It literally just smells like you cut into an apple. That's what this smells like. It's really, really nice. And while it's on your skin, it feels really good. I mean, since it's the next day, I I forgot to check for progress on did it do the usual thing clay masks do where it minimizes these fine lines for a little while. I'm gonna say it probably did because it seems like every clay mask with me does that to some various extent. Um, but being the next day, usually by then, is kind of worn off. So <laughs> that's my bad for forgetting to check last night for that. But overall, I do like this one. And for the price point on this, I mean, these Freeman big tubes like this, they go for like maybe three or four bucks, regardless of where you find them. They don't cost much. And yet, the quality is good. So you don't always have to pay more to get nice quality. That's why I adore this freaking brand, and I'm, like, trying to try everything they make, but they have, like, over 70 products, so it's gonna take forever. But regardless, they are really good. Knock wood. I don't think I've really run into a, a product from them so far that has disappointed me. And now I'm probably jinxing it by saying that, but <laughs> regardless, I really like this brand as a whole. But this product is pretty good, but just... The pumice in this one being so just lingery and hard to get all of it off your face, that for me is like one teeny little point down. So for me, 
I'm personally rating this a 4 out of 5 instead of a 5 out of 5. If it weren't for that being so hard to get every last bit of it off, and I only mentioned that you do need to do that because I've made the mistake of not fully rinsing off something with exfoliating stuff in it before, and with my skin, it is a guarantee that it will get stuck in my pores and cause further breakouts that were worse than whatever was there in the first place. So you kind of have to get all of that off your skin if you use something like that with that in it. So just word of caution, word of caution, because I've lived it more than once, I hate to say. <laughs> but at least with this one, I did get it all off. It just took me like half an hour. But I still would give this a four out of five. I highly recommend this one especially if you're acne prone because it will help draw out all that shit that you need to get out of your skin so anyway guys that's it for this one so as usual you know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram maybe my etsy i don't know uh, <laughs> And everything else, it's all down in the description. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is also down in the description. So, anyway, guys, till next time, bye bye.